Previously in Science World, Kelvin managed to get attacked by a bunny. Well, let's see how this stud, <clears throat> I, I mean student, handles the first aid station. They're probably gonna have to cut off your arm. What? Please don't excite the patient. Let me see. Ah, yes, a terrible one. Come along, son. Mrs. Dixon? Yes? Would you don't please prepare the necessary materials? With pleasure. If they do cut off Kelvin's arm, he might have to get one of those prosthetic arms. He could be our very own Robo Kelvin. Maybe he'd get an extend arm, like Inspector Gadget. Da 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 da, -da Inspector Kelvin. Kelvin. That'd be cool, but probably not. The people who had to come up with prosthetic arms um, had to be good at anatomy, the study of the human body, and engineering in order to make something that mimics the human body. You know, maybe they'll cut off his hand and then give him a new hand that uses neurotransmitters, like a real hand. What are neurotransmitters? They're chemical signals that your brain and your nervous system use to control your body. One time, I knew a guy with a hook hand, and all I could think was, how does he wipe his... Mm. We don't even know the rest of that story. Excuse me, y'all can see your friend in just a second. I'm just gonna grab that tray right there. That's a lot of blood. Poor Kelvin. At least Halloween will be easy for him this year. He can be Captain Cook every year. His costume's cooler than Peter Pan's anyways. You may now see the patient. Kelvin. What did they do to you? They gave me a band-aid. But we heard all this screaming. You wouldn't believe the size of the spider I saw, dude. A spider? Yeah. Then what was that lady doing covered in blood? Oh my, I did make quite a mess. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dixon. I was just trying to cheer up your friend here with this pie, but I guess I spilled some on myself by mistake. I'll go get cleaned up. Really? A band-aid? That's all? No neurotransmitter reading hand? Hey now, I think the Band-Aid is just as important of an invention. See, I'm not actually a doctor at all. <gasps> I'm a cotton salesman, and I sell cotton all over the South. I do quite a good job of it, I don't say so myself. My lovely wife here, she's a lovely cook. Really, really a good cook. But she's a little accident prone. So, using my line of work and a good idea, I started putting sterile tape and a small piece of cotton together, and I created the Band-Aid. What does sterile mean? Why don't you let me answer that, honey? Sterile just means that the Band-Aid, while it's in its packaging, is free from any microorganisms. That way, your wound has less chance of being infected. You see, I was actually the one who invented the Band-Aid. Mr. Dixon just sold the idea. <sighs> but of course, women don't ever get any credit for having any smarts. It's only 1920. <clears throat> Never mind who invented it. There you go, young man. As good as new. That's a relief. Rats. I really wanted a hook friend. 